Well, just as March comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb, this month of July came in like a firework and it's gonna go out like a blurred, at least here in Brooklyn it is. A blurred is a black nerd. And on July 29th and 30th in Dumbo, Blurred City Con will celebrate the nerd in you, as they like to say. You don't believe me? How's this for a title of one of their panels? Propulsion of Black Aesthetics Mixtape Parables. A lot to unpack there. Yes. Now, attendees are invited to dress up as their favorite sci-fi, horror, or fantasy character. Here to explain and also tell us about the huge range of black and nerdy activities they're presenting are the founder of Blurred City Con, Clarissa Clay. Welcome to VK Live. Thank you so much. As well as illustrator N. Stephen Harris, award Thank you for coming. <laughs> award winning. Skip right over. I'm like, I, I, I couldn't not say thank you. <laughs> award winning DC Comics artist. Good to have you here. And one of the conference presenters, Regine Sawyer, who is the owner of Lock It Down Productions and the founder of the Women in Comics Collective International. Yes. So, guys, why do this kind of conference? Yes, it's to celebrate the, actually, the intelligence of us, that we don't get that. It's like a small pushback to say that the stereotypes that we receive often does not match that we have a high intelligence. So that's why we want to celebrate the bird in you. Good, good, good. good. And, the, and the word blurred, was that like, did you guys create that, or is that out nah, in the... No, that's, <laughs> that's way out there. Yeah, you just borrowed it. Yeah. <laughs> good. So clearly there's a lot of rich material here. What can folks look forward to? I want to know what you guys, each of you, is most looking forward to about the conference, the con. The con. You mentioned one of the. What are you going to wear? Um, <laughs> a, a bunch of different things. Okay. And I have a secret um, like cosplay thing that I'm going to do. I haven't revealed it yet, okay. so it's, it's under the wraps. Keep watching this space. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You have to come and see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm excited about different um, aspects of it. Um, one that you mentioned, mm. that title referenced Octavia Butler, who yeah, yeah. Um, Parables of the Sowers, and I had propulsion because I wanted you to say, you know, the sci fi part. So that's why that name came about. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to the writer, Cherie Renee Thomas, who we are also mm -hmm. are honoring. She's going to be our first LA Banks, um, who passed away, and she wrote Vampire um, Huntress. Yeah. Um, doing an award in her honor, and Cherie Renee Thomas is going to be our first awardee. That's phenomenal. So, yes. Stephen, are you just going to be in the corner, like taking visual <laughs> pictures and sketching right. people walking around for your next inspiration, or are you going to no. dress up? I mean, that may happen thing? too. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll be there doing a, a, a panel, right? A panel, and I'll be uh, have, I'll have a table selling my books there. Yeah. Because I, I draw characters, I draw. Uh, yeah, you uh, draw characters. I, draw, I create characters, draw comic bit. books. Uh, whether I create my own or for companies, I uh, I uh, want to have creations that, that that reflect us, not just a two-dimensional version or a sidekick version, but fully fully realized people, who are pe people you may recognize in the community. Mm -hmm. And we do this because we 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 want a table. We want to have a, some some kind of power base at the table, so we could, we come to the community and uh, events like these, like Blurred and other events that come out that uh, reflect who we are and that cater to us, uh, we can show the market that this is a force to be reckoned with. Mm -hmm. And it, it helps independent artists like me, and I also work for the mainstream, but independent, like, independent artists like me and Regine to yeah. get our work out there and have a serious base to contend with. Well, talk about a force to be reckoned with. Regine, holding it down for the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> it's no small feat. You got a wide lane there. <laughs> well, yes, but it's a, it's, a, it's a pleasure and I enjoy doing it. Mm -hmm. um, we've had the Women in Commerce Collective for uh, five years now and we do workshops, um, panel discussions, art shows. We have our own Comic Con uh, and we're so proud to be at Blurred City Con with mm -hmm. Clarissa. She invited us and we were super excited to do it. Um, it's right here in our hometown yeah. and we're really looking forward to it. Uh, what type of panels do you guys have lined up for the event? Oh, there's many. Um, particularly, we're going to start off. There is the one by Valerie. Um, she put an underslash com um, complex. She's doing a, a reading of the script of Josh um, Rudden's um, Wonder Woman and saying how it was has racism and sexism in it. Then we have Women in Comics is the next one, and then we have a panel. Um, one of my favorites, I don't know if you're into martial arts and kung fu and all that stuff, but mm -hmm. we have one called um, 
empire to The Last Dragon, um, black folks and martial arts, because we have a love of that. We have Warrington Hutton on that. We have um, Floyd Webb and a few others. And we have a bunch and an array of um, panels, cosplay, uh, cosplay ball, a few yeah. different things. So, yes. Regine, where is the woman Luke Cage? When are we going to have <laughs> a breakthrough since they blew up the whole spot with that when Netflix dropped it? But where is she? Where, where is she at? Well, she's there. I mean, I don't know if we can depend upon just the mainstream doing that. I mean, we definitely need to do that for ourselves. Yeah. As Steve said, we have so many independent creators of color that have wonderful concepts. But she's there. I mean, if they want to give Misty Knight something, give her her bionic arm, let's get it together, Marvel. Let's get it together and let's do that. <laughs> can you talk about um, the Woman in Comics panel? Uh, what are you hoping to contribute? What do you want people there to take from it? Well, first and foremost, I want them to take from it that there are plenty of women in comics. Even though you don't see us, we are there. Mm -hmm. There are plenty of women of color mm -hmm. in comics. We've been working in the industry for decades. Also, that we have so much to contribute. We contribute our own stories. Again, as an independent creator, there's so many works about women of color kicking ass in comics. Mm -hmm. OK? So we're going to be talking about all that and then some. Good. She's so, like her own superhero. Right? right? <laughs> she is. She is. But Clarice, uh, I want to talk to you about just the, the bar to entry because somebody is watching right now and they're like, oh, maybe I haven't picked up a comic since sophomore year right. or I don't know if this is for me. Like, am I going to feel uncomfortable? Like, do I have to dress up? Like, break down some of the barriers for entry for folks who've made oh. it up in their brains. Well, actually, we have in the, in the um, in the conference, we have social issue panels also. So it's not just about um, coming and doing the fun stuff. It's also to talk about um, like food justice, yeah. to talk about imprisonment. It's a fully woke conference. It's a, it's a woke conference. Yeah, we don't want. To, we don't want. To, it's mixing it both in because like sometimes you need the fun yeah. and the serious together so that you get some information, but it's not overwhelming. So you can have any which way to enter into right. the conference. Yeah. So come be with your people. Yes. Mm -hmm. and that's the major thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and why Dumbo? Dumbo, because um, actually it has some history with um, black culture and so forth. There's, if you go by the ice cream um, factory, there's a plaque saying about our history being in the Dumbo um, area. So it actually is a um, direct connection to being with black folks. Yes. Uh, what has been your favorite part of doing this, planning this, and putting all of this together? Okay, let me put a tear down. Right. Okay. <laughs> It's been a lot of work. The, the best part is meeting all these great people. Um, yeah. it's, it's phenomenal how much talent we have out there. And to get to showcase that is just like awesome. Yeah, Regine it, by herself is a superhero. Oh, <laughs> Would you consider yourself a blurred? Oh, I'm definitely a blurred. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, always been and always will be. Uh, um, like, most people don't look at me and see that I do Tai Chi, and I do Tai Chi with a sword, so I do, like, that Kung Fu okay. stuff. I play chess, and, and a lot of people, they, when they first, um, some people, when they see me, they have a different image, mm -hmm. and they don't have the intelligence um, image of me. Right, and it's good that you're fully embracing that, because some people won't, right? <laughs> so I've been distracted this entire interview by the books on the table, so <laughs> can we just get into this for a second so my brain can relax? What have you brought? What am I? looking at both of you guys you want uh, to start this is, yeah this is the job is about a, uh, a young teen in current day Harlem who finds out her parents her mother in particular was once part of a secret organization founded by her great grandfather yeah and when she joins she, she uh, we follow her training as we follow her training we learn more about her her family the organization and a rival organization which is there to uh, destabilize and uh, exploit the community whereas you have the um, organization she's a part of is there to protect the community yeah and we deal with issues of culture history uh, current day events and a little bit of action and adventure. And it's yes. equal gender time, and you give the ladies their due as well. Oh, so they, they're the main character. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So we have a female not equal time is all the time. Not all time. <laughs> <laughs> Flipping the script. So that leads me right to you, Regine. What are we looking at here? So um, we have two. Uh, one of my books here, uh, The Rippers, which is about an intergalactic bounty hunter who's accused of a crime she doesn't remember committing. And then we also have Ice Witch, which is a spinoff of The Rippers, and that's about an assassin who gets married, has a baby, now the company's after her child. Oh, 
Amazing. So for all of you who are not readers yet, or if you want to indoctrinate the young ones, we have a great video that just might get you hooked of a panelist. Check this out. A land that time forgot. In a world before our own. A kingdom of untold beauty. Besieged by shadow and magic. From the creators of Urban Arcanum and the mind of Anubis Haru comes an adventure thousands of years in the making. Four heroes will rise from beneath the sands of time to defy an evil that threatened our world before it began and to request that defies imagination, a saga of mythic proportions. When myth and legend collide, we bring you Acid of the Gods on kickstarter.com now. Acid of the gods. There's worse things to do with five bucks to kick in the Kickstarter. So uh, just before we get out of here, let us know again where we're going to be going and what we're going to be doing come the weekend of July 29th. Yes, and July um, 30th, so Saturday is, and Sunday, a two-day okay. conference. So you can go to www.blurredcityconference.com, and we have the regular um, social me uh, media, Blurred City on Instagram, Blurred City on Facebook, so that you can see the whole schedule and pick an array of different things to okay. do. Phenomenal. Direct us somewhere <laughs> where we can catch up on your work. Okay, I'm at uh, uh, nstevenworks.com and also at nstephenharris.deviantart.com. Also on Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Very cool. All right, take us home. Um, you can find my books at www.lockitdown.com. You can also find information about women in comics at womenincomicscollective.org. Phenomenal. Nice. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.